Hello everybody, this is Mike Austin with Adology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Toots Plus. Today we're going to learn how to create an awesome little feather brush in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Even though this tutorial was created with CS6, it still works for any legacy version of, of Illustrator that works with transparency and blends. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do here is grab my ellipse tool. It's going to be L. Select that, make an oval about that size. Or an ellipse, you can call it. I'm gonna grab this, put this around right there, because we want to make sure the origin of our blend comes from this area here. I'm gonna select the the largest part, make that zero. I'm gonna be using a bread and butter basic blend brush technique here. Now what we're gonna do here is turn this on the side. Oh, let's fix that a little bit there. Okay, very good. What we're gonna do now is we're going to expand this expand and there we go I'm gonna take my scallop tool here I'm gonna to scallop this we'll start from these edges out here in the top and come all the way in keep in mind that you don't want it to you know have too much of a detail there you don't want too much detail so you want to make sure you're just pulling that in so I'm gonna go again you can go quick the quicker you go the more the less it works so I want to go in a little bit quick, but I want to go in with an angle about like this. So let's go ahead and go here, like so. Now I'm going to bring this one around here again. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. You hold down Alt and just kind of drag it to the size you want. So I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to come down there, like so. And there we go. Okay, very good. Now what we're going to do is take our warp tool, Shift R. I'm going to bring this out puff this out a little bit more here like so and there we go and now I'm gonna grab this brush again change this to white I'm gonna push this here like so then I'm gonna go ahead and go with a black right here bring that back into black again and there we go I'm going to go ahead and select this brush here. I mean, you don't have to turn it to the side if you don't want to, but I do that it makes more sense to me. Drag it into my brush palette there. Art brush. I'm going to go tints. Scale proportionately. Leave everything else the same. I'm going to delete that. Well, I can keep that there. I might want to modify it some more. I'm going to now go to draw with my brush. There we go. Now you have a cool little brush we can use to design whatever you like, with however that would work. And my name is Mike Gossin with Vectology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Tits Plus. And thank you very much for watching.